Good morning everybody, my name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you all to another video. Now this video is about linear graphs, so we'll be learning what are linear graphs. But, but before we start this video, I just want to share something that uh, we just uh, finished the linear equation series and um, according to me I covered every topic in linear equation series but if I do miss something do let me know in the comments section or if I need to make another video about something if I missed so thank you so much for tuning in now let's go further into our lesson so topics for this video means what are we going to be learning today so we'll be learning what is a graph and in order to understand what is the graph we need to learn number line now what is the number line we'll be learning in this lesson now followed by x-axis and y-axis and at last we're going to be learning what are quadrants alright so let's hop to our first topic now what is a linear graph but before you learn what a linear graph do you actually know what is a graph and what actually makes up a graph what do we need to call that a graph that's why we need to learn number line before we learn what is a graph or what is a linear graph so a very simple question what is a number line and if you don't know do not worry because we are about to learn what is a number line on our next page so let's keep going now let's learn what is a number line and um, number line is actually a line which represent whole numbers at fixed interval so called units now a number line is a line which represent numbers what kind of numbers positive and negative both numbers and how do we place those numbers on this number line now those numbers are actually originated from the midpoint zero so let's um, assume a midpoint right here let's take this midpoint as zero alright so right here it will be the right hand side and left here will be the left hand side okay now on the left hand side we have negative numbers and on the right hand side we have all positive numbers so let's start with the positive so after 0 what we will find is 1 followed by 1 there's gonna be a 2 and followed by 2 there will be 3 and right above 3 we'll have 4 and after 4 we'll find 5 so on the right hand side as we can see they are all positive numbers let's go on the left hand side so left hand side there's going to be all negative numbers so before 0 it will be minus 1 before minus 1 it will be minus 2 right before minus 2 it will be minus 3 followed by minus 4 and at last minus 5 now you can go as far as you want to go there's no limit you can go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 to 10 million 10 billion there's no limit on that but right now I'm just taking a scale of 5 so this is what we call a number line separated from 0 on the right hand side gives out positive numbers on the left hand side gives out negative numbers so this is what we call a number line but the most important thing about number line is is the gap between the numbers what are these gaps between the numbers called they are called units it means that the numbers are placed at equal distances that's why every space can be called as a unit why because they are equal if the units are not equal this cannot be termed as a number line because this being a number line is also playing a role of a scale so that's why these units have to be the same this is a very important term of a number line that every numbers are placed at equal intervals right so let's move on now the question is what a graph is made up of and the simple answer is two number lines so now how can just two number line make up a graph okay so as we see right here this is the x-axis and it is horizontal so let's make our x-axis which is the horizontal line let's start with zero okay so this will be one this will be two and this will be three and on the left hand side will be negatives minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 I'll just take a scale of 3 because I don't want to draw too much and by the y-axis which is actually the vertical line so as we can see y-axis there is a vertical line right here so let's make 1 and this will be 2 followed by 3 below 0 it will be same 
before 0, this will be minus 1, followed by minus 2, and then minus 3. Now, since this line is horizontal, we can term it as x-axis, and the vertical line will be y-axis, and they meet each other at the point 0, which is called the origin point. We will learn that further into this video. Now let's move on and see what we got. Okay, so what is a 2D dimensional graph? As we can see right here, this graph is actually a 2D graph. Why this is a 2D graph? Because there are only two dimensions. Now what are those dimensions? One is X, as you can see right here, and other is Y. Now what is X and what is Y? As we learned, X is the horizontal line. So the length of this shape, which is this graph, is actually x. And the width of the shape, I mean of this graph, is actually y. Now the most important part right here is how x and y both are related to the point of origin. How x and y are related to the point of origin is x and y intersect each other at the point 0. Origin point is this point where it starts. So this is called origin point. So once again, what is a point of origin? A point of origin is a point where x-axis meets y-axis and when both of them values are zero. So this point which gives out this point right here. This is a very important part. That's why I said that multiple times. So move on into the video. What are quadrants? Now we are learning a lot of new stuff today, okay? But we won't be talking about any fancy stuff regarding linear graph because we need to learn every basics before we advance ourselves further into the lesson or even this chapter. What are quadrants? Quadrants are basically regions or sections of a 2D dimensional graph. Now, the graph is divided into four quadrants or sections based on positive and negative values of X and Y. Now, what is positive and negative values of X and Y? Now let's learn. So this part will be quadrant 1. You can also say section 1. Okay. Now look at x. x is 1, 2, 3 and 4 means x is all positive. So we can say in quadrant 1 x is positive. What about y? y is also positive. y is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we don't see any minus. So in quadrant 1, x is positive and y is also positive. As we learned right here, that quadrants are sections based on positive and negative values of x and y. So, so quadrant number 1, x is positive, y is positive. Let's move on to quadrant number 2, or section 2. You don't have to write section, but you know it's easy to understand. Now, let's look at x on this side, on quadrant 2. Now we can see this is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, and minus 1. These are all negative. So we know that this side at quadrant 2, x will be negative. What about y? y is still positive. We can see y1, 2, 3, 4, all the y are positive. So we can say in quadrant number 2, y is positive. Summary, in quadrant number 2, x is negative and y is positive. Now let's move on to quadrant number 3. Now let's have a look at values of x, okay? So we can see x is all negative right here. So it's not hard to say that quadrant 3 values of x will be negative. What about y? y is also negative. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So in quadrant number 3 x is negative and y is also negative. Let's go to quadrant number 4. Okay, so at quadrant 4, what is x? Oh, we can see x is all positive. See? So, it's not hard to say that quadrant 4 has all positive values of x. What about y? Now, y is still negative. So, quadrant 4 has all negative values of y. So, this is what we call quadrants. Quadrants are basically different sections of a graph and those sections are divided according to the values of 
x and y, which means the negative or positive values of x and y. Each quadrant will have positive and negative values of x and y, and that's how they get classified. Now this will be quadrant 1 with positive x and positive y, followed by quadrant 2 with negative x and positive y, and quadrant 3 with negative x and negative y, at last quadrant 4 with positive x and negative y. So the topic for our next lesson is, what is a coordinate? And we will also learn how to plot a coordinate on a graph. So thank you so much for watching. And consider subscribing if you are interested in future maths content. And please hit a like if this video was of any help to you. Thank you so much. A very goodbye from Teacher Prashant. And I'll see you guys in my next video.